All right, so Samsung has been an idiot. an idiot in their design, but not in their fridge or their fridges. So a lot of their issue that they're having is that you guys know <laughs> is frost building up, being sucked into the refrigerator or the freezer. Okay. Now, this LG, okay, not a bad design, okay, not a bad design. Most of you guys may or may not know, okay, defrost drain actually serve an excellent purpose. Uh, with, without these, all you're going to be doing is where these sit, these sit basically in the hottest part of the fridge. So you're gonna be pulling in hot air constantly, 24 seven. Now, this is GE on maybe a 13 year old fridge. I think this one is maybe 15. Excellent design. See the S or whatever the U, this is the S. That's a P-trap. So water goes in from the defrost And compressor as the as the defrost as the fan is sucking. This is now your layer. This is this is your seal. So if you don't have a seal here, obviously you're gonna be sucking in hot air into the freezer constantly, 24-7. So GE has perfected this. At least on their older units. Same with this guy. Excellent design. Water goes in, goes up. This is even better than this. They actually upgraded from this. Whirlpool has also learned, and I think this was a update from their previous one, even though they had a better one in the past, but okay, it's good enough. I think this is what they're using now. Works good, again. Water, refrigerator, freezer, comes down, goes up, works perfect. So, like I was saying on LG, pretty good. The idea is this part usually sits in water, but even if you don't have any water in there, you're still okay. It just continues to pour and pour. It does not overflow as you can see, okay? Now, let's say the fan is going. I'm simulating the fan now. Okay, see the water? A little suction. So you know it's sucking in air, so that's why it's so important that you have a seal because it's sucking. There's a suction going on. Obviously the vacuum is a little bit stronger than the fan. So you wanna have a little bit of space for the air to circulate. And it's never fully submerged usually, but this is like a one-way flap opens and you have a pretty good seal. It allows the water to flow through. and almost hold a little bit of water as a seal. Keyword, Samsung. Opening here, and there's a check valve supposedly, but it, it doesn't do anything. Now look how brittle these things get, okay? This, this is probably a year and a half uh, was changed. Very brittle. Water. It just flows right through. Air. Same thing. So, 
here's a new one, brand new. And they've revamped it, but I think it actually made it worse because now you're adding more air to be sucked in, okay? So you have suction, 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 okay? A lot of air being pulled in. Now, this part is always out of the water. This is usually set, sitting like that. So you have more air being pulled in. So even if it was fully submerged and this was sucking in, let's say the fan was sucking, you're still pulling in hot air here. You'll see the bubble soon. Or should. See it? Gotta show it to you. There it is. So, a lot of hot air, 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 air being sucked in. So, the fix might be installing one of these guys or something similar or even an LG which is pretty close in diameter. You could actually get one of these to fit right where this guy sits. This slides up where he slides. They're pretty pretty much about the same diameter. So get that in place and I would actually use this instead of Samsung. Um, I have and I haven't had a call back. This is probably the best fix. Um, LG don't have half the issues that Samsung are dealing with. All right. So this is a LG drain and doing a retrofit. They actually work pretty well. I've never had a call back on any of these uh, units that we installed the uh, LG drain retrofit. Uh, that little flapper is a very good seal and stopping warm air from migrating back into the refrigerator or freezer even though samson their freezer drain actually does a pretty good job it's the refrigerator section is the uh, main issue and of course the ice maker which is the drain also plays a huge role in that and this one was a pretty good uh, fixed. Uh, never had a call back on it. This is a few years back, and I've actually serviced the unit after that. And so far, so good. Thank you. Continuing, uh, if you may say, Achilles' heel. Uh, these are some of the things that plague Samsung. There's the ice maker. That's nothing more than warm air being sucked into the ice box. Eventually it freezes and it actually expands that opening and it actually gets wider because moisture gets between it, it freezes. Here's another, this is steam by the way, super hot steam. And you can see the air passages, water's coming in. So obviously air will also travel in. This was a frozen ice maker. As a result of migrating warmer air from the back of the refrigerator all the way down. And also from inside the refrigerator And when they're frozen like that, you can actually damage the 
gear. There's a gear inside the ice maker itself, and that rotates to push the ice during the harvest. If that is damaged, then you'll have to replace the ice maker. <clears throat> Excuse me. That auger back there, sometimes you have to replace the seal. There's a seal on top. But if you have a good seal overall, you should be fine. There's steam coming out. Pretty good gap. Wow, look at that. So yeah, Samsung has quite a few weak points. And this is the ice maker drain tube. You can see the migrating warm air. Same will happen if you don't have a proper drain tube. Air will travel all the way up. That is the refrigerator. You can see the water starting to accumulate. You can have water accumulate, but it has to drain. It has to leave the drain tube. If not, it will travel back up and it will actually start to freeze into the drain pan. It's one huge column. You have to deal with that column of water. Otherwise, you will freeze. See that? That drain tube, by the way, all the way up was totally frozen. And this is inside of the refrigerator. I have a steam going in there and look at that. I have a steam machine sitting inside the refrigerator and you can see the gaps. The mullion seal is bad. In between the mullion, there's a tiny seal. Thank you. 